With Job of old, we cry out. Everywhere the innocent suffer. Our desires and efforts achieve us little. 
O oh God, are you good yet do nothing to help us? Our answers have holes and we fall through. We invite you to voice your own laments aloud in silence or in the online comments. For what do we lament? For what do we come before God this day and cry out? For what do we confess? Hear us, O God. Hear us, O God. Show yourself, O God. Show yourself, O God. Give us life. Give us life. Hear these words. Receive their power. The majesty of God, the creator, undergirds all that is. The mercy of God, the son, accepts our despair. The comfort of God, the spirit, embraces us in communities of care. Thanks be to God. Thanks be to God. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, where hearts are fearful and constricted, grant courage and hope. Where anxiety is infectious and widening, grant peace and reassurance. Where impossibilities close every door and window, grant imagination and resistance. Where distrust twists our thinking, grant healing and illumination. Where spirits are daunted and weakened, grant soaring wings and strengthened dreams. All these things we ask in the name of Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. Amen. A voice says, cry out. And I said, what shall I cry? All people are grass. Their constancy is like the flower of the field. The grass withers, the flower fades. When the breath of the Lord blows upon it, surely the people are grass. The grass withers, the flowers fade. But the word of our God will stand forever. Get you up to a high mountain, O Zion herald of good tidings. Lift up your voice with strength, O Jerusalem, herald of good tidings. Lift it up, do not fear. Say to the cities of Judah, here is your God. See the Lord God comes with might and his arm rules for him. His reward is with him and his recompense before him. He will feed his flock like a shepherd. He will gather the lambs in his arms and carry them in his bosom, and gently lead the mother sheep. Hear what the Spirit is saying to God's people. Thanks, Thanks. be to God. How long, O oh Lord, will you forgive, forget me forever? How long will you hide your face from me? How long must I be a pain in my soul and have sorrow in my heart all day long? How long shall my enemy be exhausted over me? Consider and answer me, O Lord, my God. Give light to my eyes, or I will sleep the sleep of death. And my enemy will say, I have prevailed. My foe will rejoice because I am shaken. But I trusted in your steadfast love. My heart shall rejoice in your salvation. I will sing to the Lord because he had dealt bountifully, bountifully with me. Hear what the Spirit is saying to God's people. Thanks be to God. A reading from Ephesians. I have heard of your faith in the Lord Jesus and your love toward all the saints. And for this reason, I do not cease to give thanks for you as I remember you in my prayers. I pray that God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give you a spirit of wisdom and revelation as you come to know him, so that with the eyes of your heart enlightened, you may know what is the hope to which he has called you. What are the riches of his glorious inheritance among the saints? 
and what is the immeasurable greatness of his power for us who believe, according to the working of his great power. Hear what the Spirit is saying to God's people. Thanks be to God. A reading from the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Mark. Jesus went on with his disciples to the villages of Caesarea Philippi, and on the way he asked his disciples, Who do the people say that I am? And they answered him, John the Baptist, and others, Elijah, and still others, one of the prophets. He asked them, but who do you say that I am? Peter answered him, you are the Messiah. And he sternly ordered them not to tell anyone about him. Hear what the Spirit is saying to God's people. God be to God. In the name of God, who created us, Jesus Christ, who redeemed us in the Holy Spirit, who sanctifies and sustains us. Amen. Who do you say that I am? Jesus asks his disciples. Not long ago, one of my nieces asked me to write a letter of recommendation for her to attend graduate school, seminary, as a matter of fact. And within 24 hours of my saying yes, I had an electronic request from the institution with a non-negotiable deadline. And I had, I admit, sort of a patchwork impression of my niece. I knew things of her life from family visits and general gatherings and so on, but I didn't really have much in the way of particular aspects of her being that were important for this particular type of letter. She had lived all over the world because of her dad's career, I knew that. We had actually rarely lived on the same continent even. Who would I say that she is? How could I describe this young woman such that the powers of the institution to which she was applying would see her for who she is, so that the powers would appreciate her, appreciate her individuality, her uniqueness, what she brings to the world that no other person ever has or ever will. Who do you say that I am, asked Jesus of his disciples. They sort of fudge it. Well, some say John the Baptist, confusing him with his cousin, some say Elijah, some say a prophet. To say Jesus is the Messiah is a very big deal. And Peter says it. They can't say anything specific about his identity, but Peter gets it. And Peter says it and Peter claims it. I hear these words of Jesus in the voices of those for whom we gather today. Imagine with me, as hard as it is, imagine George Floyd with his head trapped under a policeman's knee, asking for air and for his mother. Who do you say that I am? Ahmaud Arbery, out for a run. Who do you say that I am? Brianna Taylor, an ER essential worker. Who do you say that I am? Melissa Ventura, Paul Castaway, Sandra Bland, Eric Garner, Michael Brown, Trayvon Martin. Who do you say that I am? Death upon death upon death. All the way back to 14-year-old Emmett Till in 1955, all the way back to the 800 weathered steel columns that hang in Montgomery, Alabama at the lynching memorial. 800 known. There are many more unknown victims of systemic racism in this country. Who do you say that I am? Who do others say that you are? She loved early morning just before the rising sun started to warm the flowers and plants in her garden. 
He loved one-on-one -on -one time with each of his children. She loved going to baseball games on warm summer nights. He loved reading the comic strips. It's in our particularities that we find and locate identity. Not being seen as a unique creation of God dehumanizes and lumps us into categories. The three most recently murdered Black Americans at the hands of whites were not given the opportunity to say or show the powers, their particular belovedness. That is a violation of the soul of each of them and our own souls too. Yes, there are legal violations, there are moral violations, but what is so terribly painful is the violation of their hearts and their souls, of their preciousness in the eyes of God and in the eyes of the powers of this nation. If we say Jesus is the Messiah, then we better be ready to prove it. If we think we are like Peter and we can claim our place in God's kingdom, then we need to pray that the eyes of our heart are enlightened, that we are worthy of the hope to which God calls us. When we can say something particular in response to the question, who do you say that I am? By each black victim of white power, then we are closer to claiming Jesus as Messiah. But not until then do we have that privilege. Amen.
have justice. In your wisdom, you create all people in your image without exception. Through your goodness, open our eyes to see the dignity, beauty, and worth of every human being. Open our minds to understand that all people are brothers, sisters, and siblings in the same human family. to recognize racist attitudes, behaviors, and system, which has demeaned, injured, and killed for generations. Open our ears to hear the cries of those wounded by racism and their passionate appeals for change. Strengthen our resolve to make amends for past injustices and to seek recognition Conciliation and reparation for the wrongs of history. Give us courage for true repentance and amendment of life, that we and the society in which we live may more and more reflect the beloved community you dream for all your children to inhabit. Fill us with courage that we might seek to heal wounds, build bridges, forgive and be forgiven, and demand peace and equality for all in our communities. In your name we pray. Amen. Let us confess our sins against God and one another. Almighty God, source of all that is, giver of every good gift, you create all people in your image and call us to love one another as you love us. We confess that we have failed to honor you in the great diversity of the human family. We have desired to live in freedom while building walls between ourselves and others. We have longed to be known and accepted for who we are while making judgments of others based on the color of our skin or the shape of features or the varieties of human experience. We have tried to love our neighbors individually while yet benefiting from systems that hold those same neighbors in oppression. Forgive us, holy God, Give us eyes to see as you are revealed in all people. Strengthen us for the work of reconciliation rooted in love. Restore us in your image to be beloved to community, united in our diversity, even as you are one with Christ and the Spirit, holy and undivided Trinity, now and forever. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us all our sins through the grace of Jesus Christ. Strengthen us in all goodness and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep us in eternal life. Amen. And may the peace of Christ be always with you. And also with you. As we come to the offertory, sisters and brothers, uh, a note that we will be giving these offertory gifts to the Absalom Jones Center for Racial Healing. We invite you to give via text to give at 858-252-0622 or online at stpetersdelmar.net slash give or via U.S. mail, which is P.O. Box 336, Delmar, California, 
92014. Walk in love, as Christ loves us and gave himself for us an offering and sacrifice to God. I for I, and the world goes blind. I for I, and the world goes blind. I for I,
and now in the language of our hearts, let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. May God give us grace never to sell ourselves short. Grace to risk something big for something good. And grace to remember that the world is too dangerous for anything but truth and too small for anything but love. In the name of one God, the holy and undivided Trinity. Amen.